Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to a review of Bury Your Death, the fourth studio record by Bury Your Death. Today we're celebrating the 15th anniversary of the record, so I decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with Bury Your Death was already explained in my previous review. Their first record, You Had Me at Hello. I found them because a song from this record was similar to the song Charles Green Last Breath and that was like in 2012 I think or 2014 so that's how long I've been listening to this band because I enjoy their music we have a small lineup change here almost everyone returns from the previous record except the band's vocalist Matt he was replaced by Mike Terry who later went on to become the Volumes vocalist. So this is one of the two records with Mike on the vocals. Matt would later come back to the band in 2010 or 11 for the Mosh and Roll album. The production as usual was done by Jason Sukov, great guy, I love him. The production is tight, it's clean but heavy, no loudness work, no clipping, everything sounds just perfect. Message is diverse, songs are about various topics, mostly about personal struggles and relationship issues, also the loss of your loved ones. You should explore the lyrics on your own, as they are quite interesting. The structure of the songs is pretty basic, standard intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. It's mostly breakdown after breakdown here. And the only technical aspect that you can find here are the drums. The band's drummer Mark is just killing it, his leg work is legendary. Music is a mix of hardcore and metalcore. The record starts with Sympathy Orchestra. The first thing you're going to notice are the drums. They are just phenomenal throughout the record. Easily the best part about this band. Next stuff are the guitars. They are actually quite nice and change from song to song when it comes to the ideas for the guitar riffs. So we can have some melodic stuff, but also some very crunchy, typical hardcore zero one riffs. The bass is audible and the bassist sometimes plays his own notes, so he doesn't follow the guitars, he's just doing his own thing. Sometimes even just the bass plays by itself, so it's a very nice addition. I like when the bassists aren't just, you know, forgotten by the band. And the final thing are the vocals. So Mike has an amazing screaming voice and I enjoy his singing on this record as well. Matt is also an amazing vocalist and I enjoy his work, but it's nice that they found a solid replacement for him in Mike. This track has it all, the groove, the melodies in the chorus, it's interesting, I love the drumming, I guess I will try to stop talking about them, but they are just so good on every song. The guitar riffs here are amazing as well. The vocals in the chorus here remind me of that band Dagoba for some reason. Great stuff, 8 out of 10. Hence to hide the shame. Now this song is just as good, I enjoy the main guitar riff the most. And yeah, the vocals are still great. Still a nice chorus, drumming as usual phenomenal, 8 out of 10. Fever Dream is the reason I know this band. The first 50 seconds of this track are just legendary. That riff is just perfect. It's so perfect that Chelsea Green reused it in their song Last Breath. The rest of the song is phenomenal as well. I love the vocals, the groove, just everything, 10 out of 10. Womb Disease. Now this is probably the most interesting song on this record, there's a lot of just bass playing around here, the lyrics are amazing and I love the last 30 seconds of this song because the drummer just goes off. I have no words for it, you should listen to this one, it's amazing, 9 out of 10. Infidel's hymn is much more melodic than the previous song, I love the guitar work here, the lead work especially, great stuff, the clean singing is nice as well. 8 out of 10. Year 1. Now this is an interesting song because it's very melodic, but at the beginning it's not, it's quite heavy. So it's surprising that Mark Tremonti is here. He's the guitarist of Alter Bridge and Creed. 
Do you remember Creed? Can you take me higher? Do -do -do. <laughs> Creed shreds. <laughs> I love Creed. I love making fun of Creed. It's just... I cannot believe that the record Human Clay sold so many copies when that cover art is a goddamn abomination. It looks like an abortion. And Christians bought that record like 20 million times. <laughs> it's, it's... those were different times back then. So yeah, Mark Tremonti is here, and don't get me wrong, I might not like Creed, but I love his work in Alter Bridge and his solo stuff. He's a very talented guitarist, and he provides a guitar solo here on this song, and it's epic, what can I say? This is a very cool song, a very unusual collaboration that actually works. 8 out of 10. Angel with a dirty face. Now this is probably my least favorite song on this record, it's still good, I enjoy it, but for some reason I don't feel it as much as the previous songs. 7 out of 10, Disposably Yours is slightly better, I love the groove at the beginning, tu, 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 tu. great stuff, but overall it's kinda similar to the previous song. It's also very short, like 2 minutes long. 7 out of 10, A Devil's Ransom, now here we're back to great interesting songs. The guitar riff is phenomenal, it stays in your head. Vocals, amazing as well, so is the drums. 9 out of 10. Fool's Gold is probably the most melodic song on this record. It kinda is a little bit cheesy in some parts, but I still enjoy it. It stays in your head, like I remember how it sounds like. Great. 8 out of 10. And the final song, Dust to Dust. This is my all-time favorite Bury Your Dead song. Because of the first 50 seconds, that groove, that guitar riff, just everything about that intro is perfect. Listen to those 50 seconds and try not to bounce around, try not to dance to this shit. It's epic. Try not to mosh while that stuff is happening. Oh, it sounds like fucking Michael Jackson's song or some shit. This is a timeless track that I will never forget. When I think about Bury Your Dead, Dust to Dust and Fever Dream are the songs that just pop up right into my head. Classic stuff. 10 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is stable, the flow is fitting, replayability, yeah, it's a great record. It's amazing from beginning to the end. It doesn't have any weak songs. Half of this record is very memorable. The highlights from this one are Dust to Dust, Fever Dream, Womb Disease, Year One and A Devil's Ransom. Check those songs out, you won't be disappointed. Celebrate the anniversary by spinning this record today, it deserves some love. I've heard that when it was released it wasn't so positively received, but I think this is an amazing work and it stood the test of time. I still love listening to this one from time to time, and I guess it's my favorite, Barrier Dead record. Share your memories about this record right in the comments, Check out the description to follow me on my Instagram page and I will see you in my other videos. Bye!